What is up YouTube? Welcome to Robot Squad Simulator 2017. This is brought to you by the same people who made Ship 17, the Giant Machine 17, Demolish and Build Company 2017, Playway. They are just spitting games out like crazy and this is essentially a game where you take control of a squad of people who control these robots that are used uh, to, I think, defuse bombs and stuff like that. Uh, basically, specialized, remotely controlled robots, which you can control yourself, and you deal with the hardest missions, which can be performed directly by people due to their conditions. I have, I think there's also, like, drones and stuff like that. I'm really excited about this. So let's get into the game and uh, find out exactly what we have what this game has to offer welcome to robot squad simulator 2017 this tutorial will teach you the basics of the game remember that all settings like graphics or language can be customized in the option screen all right so let's get into this continue you are a member of an elite unit specialized in remote robots using missions that are too dangerous for people currently available missions can be seen in the mission screen all right all right so we got missions we've got garage achievements What's the garage? In the garage, you can find all robots and equipment that you possess. For buying and upgrading new robots, suite, and equipment, you need two currencies, experience and money. Dude, awesome. I love this. Experience is used to buy new robots and equipment. Money is used for upgrades. All right. Dude, no, that's cool, man. I can buy that for a thousand? Oh, what, dude? It's a little RC car-like thing. There's a drone... What the heck is that thing? Looks like some... Okay, so we probably have to buy this. So let's go ahead and buy this. EOD. Oh, sweet, dude. So we can upgrade the EOD. Endurance, speed, arm, torch. That seems important. And then I'm assuming that we can... Uh, you know, we'll, we'll get more pretty quickly to probably level these types of things up. Okay, so let's hop into a mission. Here you can check all available missions. They are divided into training missions and story missions. To join in, you have to own the proper equipment. To get it, go to the garage. All right, mission training mission one. Use EOD, light torch, use arm, avoiding, avoiding fire, basic movements, light torch, avoiding fire... Uh, robot EOD in Torchlight. Okay, so it looks like we're good in that. So let's hop into it and try this out. This is awesome, man. Whoa! Welcome to your first training mission. Your task is to pass all the obstacles. Your task is to pass all obstacles. It's just showing me the different areas and different things that there are to avoid and get to the end room. Good luck. Dude, how cool, man. Okay, during the game, all needed information is shown on the screen. One, of the top right-hand corner, is your current objective. Two is the map in the bottom right hand corner. Three current actions that can be done by robot. It's got w, WS forward and back, A and D left and right, Q and E rotate, C change camera, V block camera, middle mouse is reset. And then information about your robot. Hide L, tab, so tab was the arm and F is the light. Okay. Map shows current robot position, mis, mission tasks, etc. Buttons allow you to change zoom, make the map bigger, and lock the rotation of the current robot. Robots can be seen from be uh, robots can be seen from behind or from the camera attached to them. View can be changed with C. Okay, okay. Dude, how cool, man! Yo, this thing is fast. Okay, so the arm is tab, so then I can move it up and down and back and forth. Dude, how cool! Q and E's rotate. That's awesome. And then F is the the light, obviously. So when you get Cool. Or you can do you can do uh, A and D W uh, or you know uh, to turn left and right. You don't have to do just Q and E. Q and E allows it to turn a lot faster. All right, F for the light, C to change camera. Okay, so let's do that. Oh, how cool, man! Avoid the diesel fuel. There we have. I had to kind of do a tight turn there, so I couldn't use a. Uh, a and D. Dude, how awesome is this? You could just use this view too. But that's a cool view. <laughs> that's freaking awesome, man. So we don't have to do that view. Whoa, okay, fire here. We got a fire. We can avoid that. We can avoid that. Whoa, what the heck? Is that gonna go out? Holy smokes, dude! Alright. 
Well then, now you have to use your robot's arm to press all buttons in this room. Cool. Look at this. So if I hit tab, and then I just go... Um, it's probably easier from this. There we go. This is going to be tricky, actually. Because we have to move that up and down. Like this. And we can probably just roll forward. There we go. That's going to be pretty tricky to use this thing. So this one's lower. Okay, W and S. And this is cool! Alright, so there's that. Oh, sweet. Sweet. Let's find out where it is. There it is! I'm, I'm pressing it! There we go. Sweet! How cool, man. The birds! Dude, it's so cool. You're a little EOD bot. That's awesome. All right. Change arm control? I already know how to do that. I've obviously pressed a bunch of buttons already. Why are you telling me this now? Now, I'm assuming that I can actually probably damage. Got it. That you can probably actually damage it. Claws on your robot arm can be used to grab small objects. Move all the boxes to the container next to the door. What? Sweet! Hello! Whoa, we're like super, uh, needs, we need to lower this down here. It's interesting because you have to hit like, uh, it's just interesting how you have to hit different buttons to kind of control. It seems backwards almost. So we need to move, oh, the small boxes. Claw, oh, sweet. Okay. Oops. Oops. I've got it like stuck here. Alright. I need to get the arm back. I need to get the arm back, man. There we go. Yo. Look at the claws opening up. It seems so weird like the way it's set up. Looks good, right? Oh, almost. Oh, I just missed it. You guys, this is actually kind of tricky. It's so precise. Look at this. It's kind of tricky because you have to okay I got it you got to do it so quick all right so where do I have to oh into the box okay this that's tricky man it's so cool that you get to be a little EOD bot though yeah baby I'm glad that there's not another one because that, that took me a long time to do I'm like just exp hey we passed the mission nice we got 2,000 bucks and some experience. It took me five minutes to do that? What the heck? That seems so crazy. Okay. You don't meet the requirements to go to the garage. So we need uh, a scanner, camera. Using scanner. Okay. So we need a uh, scanner, camera. Garage. Okay. Scanner and camera. Cool. All right. So there we go. Now we can do more missions. I love this, like, e interface here. Okay, using scanner, defusing bomb, sweet, taking photos. Oh, we get to defuse a bomb in this one. Awesome. Awesome. I don't know about you guys, but I want to defuse a bomb. In this mission, you will learn how to defuse bombs. All right. Your task will be finding all the bombs in this area. What, in this whole area? And getting to the exit point. What the heck, man? Learn... Lean the claws and defuse the bomb. B. Lean it down, I'm assuming. 
Oh, dude. It the problem with it or at the moment is that it m moves back. Am I doing it right? I need to hit B. Nothing's happening. I must not be... Oh, there we go. To defuse the bomb, you have to find and cut the proper cable? <laughs> what? To cut the cable, hover over the proper button and hold left mouse. Remember, the real bombs are more complicated than the testing ones. What? Literally, real bombs are more difficult, though, apparently. What the heck, man? Freaking diffusing bombs in here? Ah! Scanner. Use your scanner to find all bombs and defuse them. What? I think it's gonna show up on my my map. You can hear it. There we go, we got a bomb. We got a bomb over there. There's, there's another bomb pretty close by. Dude, how many bombs are there? Five bombs? Oh, apparently the EOD can't go over trash on the ground. Styrofoam cups, are you kidding me? Alright, here's the first bomb. Let's defuse this sucker. Alright. Oops. Don't run it over. You only have to be pretty close to it. And that's it. I'm gonna defuse all these bombs, man. Oh yeah, another bomb. Here we go. Defusing it. <clears throat> Clipped it. Okay, we're good. Yo, this is kind. This was kind of cool. It uh, took me underneath like this little in this little makeshift box fort here. All right, so we got the scanner up. We just gotta find another bomb. Must be another one. There's one. Um, that is that one up on. Up higher? How do I get up there? What the heck? I gotta jump or something? No, it's probably a ramp I have to climb, huh? Oh, we found another one too up in the uh, up in the back of this truck. So let's go maybe defuse this one right now. It's so these bombs are training bombs and they're not nearly as difficult, I'm assuming, as the real ones are gonna be because the these are pretty simple. I could like just do this and then I'm close to it enough to cut it. And I'm just snipping one wire. It doesn't seem like... It doesn't seem reasonable. It seems too easy. Okay, let's go get another bomb. We found the last and final bomb. Now we must defuse it. Whoa, 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 whoa. B-valve. Close the uh, acid... Uh, this, this acid that's pouring out of this thing, apparently. Did I do it? All right, I don't know why there was radioactive material pouring out of that and why it's now gone, but uh, it's gone. Seems like a reasonable obstacle. Uh, I'm not too sure. I do have some health gone on my EOD down there in the left-hand corner. All right, last one's in this little box here. Mm, this is the last one. Fifth and final bomb has been defused. One of the bombs can't be reached with your robot's arm. Use your camera to photograph, photograph it with the sappers. For the sappers. What do you mean? Photograph the bomb and the pipe. What do you mean? What pipe? That pipe over there? Or that pipe? What pipe are you talking about? This pipe? What? What? What pipe? Oh, there's an arrow pointing me to the direction. Mike, what pipe are you talking about? I've never, I haven't even seen it. Oh, I see it over there. It's like I didn't even see it. Nothing popped up on my, uh, my radar for a bomb when I was over there before, so I made mean, a mess sense. What's a sapper? Some little thing you can drive in or something? Oh, this is, this wasn't here before. 
Photo mode, make photograph. Yeah, that wasn't there before. Um, R for photo. Turn this. Bam! Photographed bomb! Now we'll get to the exit. Okay. We're done. Now we just got to get to the exit, and that's mission completed. You guys have to let me know if you want to see more of this gameplay. Hopefully you guys do. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, definitely make sure to thumbs up that video and uh, subscribe if you're new and, you're, and you've liked this uh, simulation type of gameplay. Hopefully you guys have. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. God bless.